What's going on guys, Orzu here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have the 89 overall flashback card Sahin and he's actually looking pretty decent. Now he's got 77 pace, 90 dribbling, 83 shooting, 86 defending, 94 passing and 90 physical. The one thing I'd love to improve there is definitely that pace. It looks like the, it's the only thing that actually slacks. 5 foot 11. It's a decent height to be a midfielder slash CDM. It's not outstanding. I'd prefer like 6 foot 2 and above because it gives him that little interception reach. Now he's got medium, medium work rates and that just means he's not going to be too far back or too far up. And that is something I can always go with. The three star skill moves. I don't do skill moves with my midfield anyway, so it's not going to matter. But the four star weak foot is a sight you'd love to see because I'm going to be able to cut onto the left. Left, I'm gonna be able to cut onto the right exactly the same. Now he is on a shadow chem style, he is on 10 chem 99 acceleration, 82 sprint speed. That acceleration is absolutely insane. He's gonna he's gonna have 80 attacking positioning, 73 finishing, 99 shot power, 91 long shots, 96 volleys as well. Now, long shots don't go in this year, and I'm pretty sure everyone can admit that, but I'll give it a go. Why not at the end of the day? So let's see if it flies into the back of the net. He's got 94 vision, 91 crossing, 92 free kick accuracy, 95 short passing, 96 long passing, and 95 curve. Now I'll tell you what, passing wise, this guy's going to be able to do everything passing wise. Over top through balls, switch up plays from one side of the pitch completely to the other. The little tick attacker play, the little one twos will be beautiful in this card. 84 agility, 83 balance, 94 reactions, 93 ball control, 87 dribbling, 96 composure. Now, it's clear that he's not the most agile of people. He's not going to be feeling like Neymar or Messi, but when it comes down to be calm, and composed on the ball he's going to be doing it all day of the week 99 interceptions 79 free kick, uh, sorry heading accuracy 97 defensive awareness 89 standing tackle and 99 sliding tackle when it comes into interceptions and defensive awareness it looks like he's going to be at the right place at the right time to get those easy interceptions Standing tackle actually looks good, like pretty decent to be fair to him. Now he's not into the 90 pluses. Obviously, it's 89, so I don't think he's going to matter that that much. But I'm expecting him hopefully to put in a strong tackle and not just get the ball, but come out with the player at the same time. 99 sliding tackle. We don't get a lot of occasions to do a slide tackle, but if it does come, I'll give it a go. 96 jumping, 5'11. I would say six foot one and below, he'll be out headering. 80 stamina is the biggest killer of this card, simply because. It's a CDM slash centre bid. He's not going to last throughout the whole game because he's going to be running up and down the pitch like there's no tomorrow. The 94 strength, though, is always going to be nice because he's going to be bodying attackers. And they're not really going to have a chance when they're into, when they're into that like shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder animation. 88 strength as well is going to be pretty decent. It's going to make him win more 50-50s. And it's also going to allow him to be rushing straight out to the opponent. Now, today I have linked him up with Eggstein and Cordoba. I've also got the likes of Boateng, Rio and Sissoko in the team. I will be using Sahin in a 4-4-2, playing him in that centre mid role because he can low-key go a bit forward to be fair to him. But I also want to try him in that CDM role, so I will be playing him in a 4-2-3-1 as well. But let's get straight into these games. So the first thing we always do at the start of our reviews is just check how agile someone is on the ball. He seems pretty nice. He seems very calm and composed, but it doesn't look like he's going to be one of those players that you're going to be doing little twists and turns with. Little pass him. Can I get a complete switch of the play? Beautiful pass him. Right power, right accuracy. No turn. There you go. Great interception. Great interception once again. Very, very, very unlucky not to actually get the ball after that. But we are probably going to concede off it. No, we don't. Defensive awareness, knowing where the ball is going to go. Beautiful. And just a little pass towards Eckstein. Getting the tackle. There you go. A really solid tackle. And do you see how high he is right now? He's got that like really nice press game to him where he uses his aggression to his full effect. Nice. Giving me the passing option there. Did you see him instantly cut back? Maybe I can get that through ball in. Oh my god. If Cordoba had an actual... Sorry, Cordoba. If Sozoko had a better touch there, that's a goal. He feels so, so nice when pressing. It's ridiculous. Like, look at this. Look how fast he feels. You can just go side to side with him. I know he's very high up right now, but that's because I'm kind of pushing him out of position. Little turn. Little ball roll. Quick turn around. Blanc. That's it. One more turn. Can it be calm and composed on the ball? Just a little pass for the gap. That is beautiful. Nice, really good block from him. That is super unlucky not to actually get the ball after that. But it was great defensive awareness. Knowing where the player, I like, I didn't even touch him there. And he went straight to the floor. Knowing where the player was actually going to shoot. Going forward with him now a little bit. I see that through ball to be fair towards Sancho. So why not do it at the end of the day? Because he has got insane passing ability where he can like thread the needle so, so well. 
Nice. Oh, come on. That needs to be a better strong tackle there. And once again, can he actually get it? There you go. He eventually got it. But I'll tell you what. There is some occasions that I am honestly seeing that he's not putting in the strongest of tackles and not really coming out of the ball that often. No turn. There you go. Unbelievable read. What I actually did there was I read the passing lane and I know how fast he is. So all I had to do, I can see a through wall there. Can he do it? It's going to be a tight one. I doubt it's going to get there. Yeah, I was like, why not at the end of the day? Let's go for it. I'm going to actually test out his headering here. This is, I believe, against Blanc, maybe? Yeah, it's against Blanc. He does actually win the header, but the best way to win headers in this game is make sure you actually hold LT and then obviously click A after that. That is the best way because it shields off the defender and doesn't really give him a chance. Oh, there you go. Great interception. I was just waiting for it. Like, I could see the way he was going, so I was kind of bait where he was passing it. So I kind of just moved into the passing lane, and it was just an easy interception for him. Once again, there you go. Oh, it's just, again, like the little weak standing tackle. That is something you don't see from players. You don't see from players like Boateng and stuff. And that was really bad ma uh, marking from him as well. Just leaving Son wide open on the edge of the box there. It's just not good enough. But I tell you what, it was all because of the standing tackle. If he actually went in for a stronger standing tackle, we get the ball 100% there. Nice. That was really good from him as well. Giving me the passing option there is something I do love from a CDM. But even like the pass, that was a really, really hard pass to kind of get from the angle. And Sahin's passing is so, so good that he is going to pass it through those little tight angles. He has to be a cutback. There you go. We guarantee knew where he was going. Oh, just left the ball behind there. And then Bergeron gets in away. This is going great. But either way, it was a really good just like kind of read from me. From me. And this time he does put in a very strong tackle. Go forward with him. One thing I am noticing, though, is I see that acceleration really coming into play. But when it looks like the sprint speed kind of comes into play, he is so, like he slows down so, so much. Just get in front of the man right there. That should be an interception. That's just EA doing what they do best, clearly. But great aggressiveness uh, towards Sahin. And just kind of getting the ball, making sure the guy is like no time to think and getting the ball. Little press here. Once again, look at that. We might actually get a goal out of it just like that. That's what I mean about Sahin. Sahin's like uh, attacking awareness while being in great positions. The medium, medium work rate doesn't make him go too far up and doesn't make him go too far down. So he can really be there for counter attacks or even using his aggression to kind of pressure the player without me even touching him. And that's exactly what he did there. It bounced perfectly to say in maximum. You could call it a bit of luck. But at the end of the day, the ball goes into the back of the net. Oh, I see him up there. Can we get a little cheeky through ball? That is a beautiful ball. It's a ball that Bergwin can easily run onto while like still pushing the defensive line really far back. So that's always nice to see. Little middle pass, giving me the passing option. Trying to get myself a passing option. Half drag back, pass it back to Zazoko. Can I get a little ball roll around the corner? A little, sorry, ball roll. Drag back around the corner. It was pretty decent attack to be fair to him. So he ain't giving me the passing options that I need him to give me. Doing his little footwork that he needed to do. Really unfortunate not to get a goal, though. Oh, my God. I tell you what. I did not, not expect him to get to that. That acceleration that he has got with the aggression is so, so good for defensive work. Nice. That was actually a pretty decent touch. It gave him that little acceleration boost. But I've noticed Sahin's one of those players there. Yeah, he's going to be very calm and composed on the ball. But you don't really want to go too far up because the acceleration is great. But when he starts to get into the sprint speed, that's when it starts to slack a lot. Look at that. What I did was I pressed him halfway and then actually went in for the tackle because I knew this guy is very calm and composed on the ball and he's actually got a pretty decent play style. So if I started stutter him once, he wouldn't actually fall for it. But if I actually go in straight straight through the second time, I'll easily get the tackle off. And it was a really good like interception as well after. Nice, good foot, good footwork as well. Little scoop turn around the corner, little ball roll. I like I'm gonna cut back, bring it across. I should not have sweated it. Yeah, it's offside. Really disappointing for me. And that was a really bad decision. So it is time to review him. And let me say, this card is actually really, really nice. At defensive wise, he's absolutely superb. Uh, going forward, there's a bit of a sticky situation at some points. But I can understand why he is so good going forward as well. Now, 130k. 
That is super cheap. And if I advise you guys to go and get this card, I would. But team of season's coming around the corner, and I would say save your coins because there is going to be better cards than this. The 5 for 11 wasn't actually a problem at all for me, simply because he was super fast with that 99 acceleration that he could he could like cut off the passing lane before before like his reach could even come into play and that was that literally amazed me now the medium medium work rate he wasn't too far going forward and not too far backwards which sometimes when going backwards it was like mm, not the greatest because he wouldn't like mark the guy on the edge of the box sometimes he would just leave him and that's something i didn't like but going forward unbelievable always giving me that passing option the three star skill moves i don't know skill moves with my midfield so it didn't really matter for me but a four star weak foot i did see come into play i could do the little cheeky rbas and overtop three balls with both feet pace wise as i said acceleration is amazing but if we're talking about sprint speed it's not great it really isn't it slows him down a lot finishing wise i didn't actually take a shot of him so that's always going to be a disappointment passing really nice over top through balls rbas everything about him was perfect with passing dribbling he felt good on the ball there was time to time that he did take a bad touch when doing a sharp turn and i do believe it is sometimes towards the balance but i thought 83 balance was going to be enough but it's clearly it is not now he is a very calm and composed player and he does take his time while using the lt button he uses his strength at the same time the interceptions unbelievable he literally defensive awareness was carrying that interception to be fair to him that he was at the right place at the right time to just collect the ball standing tackle was the biggest issue when trying to go in for a tackle with him simply because it would go in it would hit the ball but he wouldn't like follow through he wouldn't put in a strong tackle and get the ball the majority of the time and that was like the big big killer of this card slide tackling wise i think i once or twice and he actually came out of the ball both times i believe and it was a really good sliding tackle. It was like a solid side tackle. He went straight in, got the ball so clean. It was ridiculous. Didn't even get the player to be fair to him. And I really enjoyed his slide tackling. Stamina wise, he did not last throughout the whole 90 minutes. So you are going to have to get a super sub for this guy. And that's why I do advise you guys just to save your coins for team of the season. Because team of the season, team of the season is going to have people that have stamina boosted like hell. And Sahin, 80 stamina for a CDM sentiment is just not going to be enough. Strength-wise, as I said, LT, LT shielding, unbelievable on him. Aggression and acceleration came into play when defending, and I could literally transition from one side completely to the other, even though if I got sent, he would still recover really fast. Now, I have to give this card a rating out of 10. I liked him. It was really good, but it was just a standing tackle that gave me a bit off-putting. But I'm going to give him... I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. Really good card. And as I said, do I advise you guys to go? Uh, do I advise you guys to go get it? Can't speak English today, apparently. No, just save your coins. There's not going to be a point. There is going to be better players, and we all know it. But if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like, leave a comment, and for now, peace.